Hey guys, what is up? My biopsy results are back, so let's get right into it. I'm Julie, an internal medicine resident with a passion for education. Please like and subscribe to the channel for more medicine made easy, plus a little extra. My results show that I have severe podocyte injury uh, seen on electron microscope. And I also have about 12% uh, damage to different parts of the glomeruli within the kidney. So all of this kind of to say that based on um, the biopsy results, I likely still have uh, minimal change disease. So what does this mean? The results basically confirm that I have a relapse from the same condition I had when I was a kid. When I was two years old, I was first diagnosed with nephrotic syndrome. And around the age of 10, I had my first biopsy done. And that biopsy showed then as well that I had uh, minimal change disease. So again, it showed that I had the podocyte effacement. And during the time from ages 2 to 13, I trialed a number of different medications, everything from high-dose steroids to Celsept, um, which you may know as mycophenolate. I also tried uh, cyclophosphamide. Many, many relapses along the way from ages two to 13, but luckily when I hit 13, I went into remission for 19 years. So flash forward to today, what now? What is the next steps for me and my condition? So after discussing with my nephrologist, um, the plan is I will continue on high dose steroids for the foreseeable future with likely a taper. And then I am going to try IV infusions of rituximab um, and see how that works and see if that puts me back into remission. So let's end this with what is my official diagnosis? My official diagnosis is actually the exact same thing it was when I was a kid, and that is that I have steroid-resistant minimal change disease.